Do it now. Do it. <laughs> What is up, you guys? If you know anything about me, you know I'm obsessed with sneakers. I either spend my money on food, food, sneakers, art supplies, or food. Because, like, I'm a broke student. But, you know, it comes with the territory. I have a bunch of sneakers lying around, and I do a bunch of crazy designs. I thought, why not try one with a 3D pen? I've done one with a 3D pen before, but... I just don't think I, like, went as crazy as I could have gone. I'm, I'm gonna be doing an Air Force One. I wanna try out something crazy, something original, and something that's just gonna look super awesome. So if you wanna see that, please keep on watching. And if you don't, um, at least just, like, finish the video. And let's get started. So I just wanted to point out for anybody that thinks about trying this at home, just in case you have a 3D pen laying around, I don't know. But for this effect that I'm getting, you want to just pull very quickly in the middle and then go slower towards the edges when you do the outline, just so that it has a thinner effect in the middle, if that makes any sense. When you try it out, you'll get exactly what I'm talking about, and I have the footage here. So you guys can see kind of how it's done. But something I did not expect is that the filament smells exactly like maple syrup. Like it's the weirdest experience ever. You expect melting plastic, but it smells like syrup. You know it'd be super cool if you did a whole 3D sneaker. I'm not gonna do another sneaker. Yeah, you you can do it. You can pull it off. No, I don't have time for that. I have finals I have to pack to go home for Christmas. Just like no, I can't do that. I'm sorry. You're scared. You're just scared. Fine. If you wanna be lame, that's up to you. Be lame. I I'm not scared. Don't stop stop saying I'm scared. I'm not I'm not scared. Do it now. Do it. Fine, I guess we're doing it then. I guess we'll just have to go with your way and just do it. After basically being peer pressured by my own brain, I decided to try it out because you know what? It could turn out super cool. And even though I didn't go into this expecting to do this, I thought, you know what? We might as well do something crazy. And I've never done this before, as you guys can probably tell. So I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes, but let's see what happens. that this process is going to take a while and the best method for this is to just cover the entire shoe with the filament, peel it off and put together a bunch of little plastic pieces, kind of like how you build a Kia. And by the way, that's not like being disrespectful to Kia, like I love Kias, my Kia is great, it's like the best car ever, but that's just kind of how it's done. And you'll see here that sometimes pieces fit because leather and plastic are very different, so that was also a challenge that I had to get through. When I put this together, one of the hardest parts was trying to actually put it together because I didn't want to do any of the scenes on the outside just because it doesn't look as clean and I wanted it to kind of look good you know so I did them on the inside which is a lot harder but was completely worth it because it looked way better in my opinion
This part is where I'm doing the tongue of the shoe, and just for this part specifically, I would not recommend using this method, which is tracing with paper and then going over with the 3D pen, because what ended up happening was the the filament got stuck to the paper, and then I had to peel that off, which took way longer than I wanted to spend peeling paper. <laughs> Okay, so I'm editing right now, and I just want to apologize for that really annoying, obnoxious skit. Like, I just thought it'd be funny. I, I hope it turned out funny. I hope you liked it. But if you didn't, my condolences to you, because <laughs> that was kind of annoying, not even gonna lie. Alright, thanks for watching. Keep going. Keep what? Don't stop watching. We're not done yet. Alright, you guys. Since I was peer pressured by my own brain to do two custom sneakers that's exactly what I did which took a lot longer than I thought but you know what this pair was like a shocker to me because I didn't think it would turn out this good I did not have any expectations I just was wanted to have fun and see what happened it looks like an Air Force One like look they're almost identical they're twins okay <laughs> I'm just kidding imagine in like 50 years in the future when they realize that 3D printers can be a household object, you can just print your own sneakers from home. Like, how cool would that be? But these also are just, like, super cool. I did this design before, but, like, I didn't do it all over the sneaker. But now I see it all over the sneaker, and I think it looks so cool. If you guys want to see more stuff like this from me, just keep... Let me... What am I... What am I even saying? Let me know in the comments. Just, like, comment down below what you want to see. I thought this was super cool. It was fun to do. The pattern looks awesome. For watching and keep being awesome, keep being yourself. What else? If you have random art supplies in your house, go make something super cool and bye.